Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series. This is Life is Strange. I've had so many tweets, comments and recommendations based on this game. I've never played it before and I'm very excited. And I'm quite late to the party because I've got like three episodes out already. Pretty much every YouTuber on the planet probably covers this game already. So I'm not sure how it's going to do on the channel but I fancy playing at least like one part and seeing what this game's about. So let's, um, let's jump in I guess. Let's see what happens. Also I've heard that episode three is like just insane. Like really, really good. So... Yeah, hopefully we like it. So it's a story-based game uh, featured on like player choices. Choose wisely. So she's woken up. She's utterly confused about what the hell's happened. She's just arrived here of like, I don't know how she's done it. Magically just like, just landed on this random road or something and she fell asleep and the, 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 the storm is brewing, I tell you. Like, it's brewing everywhere. So it's got a very sort of arty, sort of farty style, I guess. Is that the right sort of term? I don't know. <laughs> but it's like a sort of painted sort of look. Um, I'm playing on PC by the way as well. Whoa. That's like a freaking tornado. That looks so cool, actually. That is impressive. So what's this? This is like a map. I guess so. Oh my god! Let's get, let's get into the lighthouse. Let's do this. It's not safe. It's got a bench. I'm not not gonna sit on there today because it looks. I just don't fancy it. <laughs> why is she going? To, why is she doing that for? That's like the worst idea ever. Holy shit! Jeez, that looks really cool though. Especially with the art style. There's wind everywhere and. Stuff flying everywhere, trees. Oh, okay, the lighthouse is not safe anymore. Whoa. Oh, what the fuck? It was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. What is going on? There you go, right, Victoria. So there's a picture on Why there. Arbus? Look at the picture. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally how haunted how by how the eyes of those sad mothers and children. <laughs> she saw humanity as tortured, right? Oh, there you go. I can just like, look and around again. bullshit. Mm. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Ha, there you go. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I think it's quite a cool picture. It took me like 10 hours to try and look at it, but I think it's pretty good. I'm trying to hit the controls, like, what? Another How does this work? I have to it's admit, a pencil, I'm not a big a fan journal. of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Take a selfie. Me too, Victoria. Because why not? He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Oops. A dumb <laughs> word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, shit. Um, 
I don't know. You're asking me what? What should I go with? Uh, I did know. What do you mean? I did know. What does that mean? I'm going for I that. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> Great. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I should probably exit Robert this then. Cornelius. <laughs> it's a private journal. You can find I'm out so all nosy. about him in your textbook or even online. Man, I control state the wig. Hey guys, I, don't I, I forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Weird. Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay, so I think we've got to drop over a photo. Yes. Those two flirting or something. Wasted a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. Oh, there we go. I've got. The, I've done that quick that time. We're just taking pictures like, all the time. Just sure <laughs> pictures of anything. Uh, Miss, really Mr. Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh, is there a bit of a crush? No right, so we try this again. This try is and just talk. a bump on a bigger road. Yeah, I'm I don't try want speak to him. feel excluded from this process, no. but I also want Didn't everybody to know that this speak. photograph. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, I do. What? What do I have to? I didn't have any time. Why do I should make any excuses? Be confident. Be confident in your work. Uh, let's go. I didn't have any time. I didn't I... have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, so what am I doing then? Should we just leave then? No, I think that's it. I think we can go, right. I'm off. Uh, see you later, guys. Nice class. Oh, TV. Look at it. Look at the TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more doc. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on There's a lot of interaction and stuff which I like. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture and share it So this is what American schools look like. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Square Enix, I don't know that. Nice. So we're going to hang around here, go to the bathroom, splash all on my face. Oh. oh I just got a headphone.
Yay. Except for me. Bet there's someone in here. There's definitely someone in here. <gasps> Luminani. Um, right. Mirror. So, can we, so if we use this to like wash our face, try and refresh herself, that was like a bad dream or was it like a, an illusion? What was it? I don't know her name yet. Oh, it's Max, isn't it? Is it Max? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. <gasps> that was a good picture as well. I like that picture. It was pretty good. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Right, so we're going to try and take a picture of the butterfly. And hope it doesn't walk away. So I need to try and get close enough to potentially interact with it. There we go. Photo! Go for it. Be quick. No, it's going to move. No, now you scared it. Is that guy? Are we in the wrong toilet? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're what? messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing don't down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <gasps> What the? Why is a guy got a freaking gun in school? Do you not, do you not read the notice? Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Whoa. How, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I oh my god, she can go back in time. And then she I can... was back here. She can time travel. Pieces of time can frame us I already is Nathan in this class? From light to shadow. From color now Kate is being hassled again. Poor Kate. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give oh. me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. I think she can. Why Arvis? Because oh, of what? the images of hopeless So hold the right... So if I can I fix I, to, so I don't actually destroy the, the camera? Can we avoid that? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. Oh, this is freaky. Imagine being able to do that. <laughs> Early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheart shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? That the portraiture has always that been a rapture time, time though? Will that screw up time? I need to go to the bathroom Once quickly and check it out. Oh, now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first oh, we know. self portraits? <laughs> um, I have to use the. I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel <laughs> sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. 
But you're not going to get away that easy. She knows the answer. Why don't she just say the we answer? We can talk more after class. Uh, is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who's after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp one time again? style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Right, this time we rewind, give the right answer, and try it again. Imagine we have to do that though, that'd be <sighs> so much power. I can do faster, okay, like the shift. Boom. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave oh, birth I, I will. to the first Mr. Je Mr. Jefferson, what the hell your name is? Um, right, let's pick the right answer. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Cheers, teacher. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. Right now what, they're just you white? You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Yes, hey Max guys, is in. The Max is rolling. A photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, oh, so just... you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. I'm going. I'm going. Yes. I need to get to the bathroom nice and quickly. I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh don't shit! Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Just take my entry. I don't care anymore. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. I skip past this bit. Right. So, uh, I'm not avoiding. I'm not sure what if if I have one. What? I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding. Just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. Okay. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Right, so you can go control. If you want to undo something you've already just done. I'm not sure what, the, what that could be. Um, so we can speak to him again. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Speak. Excuse me. Mr. Mr. Jefferson, Jefferson, can I talk to you for a minute? I can't skip it. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography. Right, let's skip past this stuff. Um. Well, I guess I'd mention John Lennon again. I'm on top <laughs> of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Okay. I have faith in you. Man, I, I swear she loves him. Anyway, let's get out of here. This, this time stuff is confusing my brain. I'm not a Time Lord. I am just Scott. I hope who I lives in London. To the uh, right. Please, right. To the please. bathroom. Where's... Right, let's go. I can't tell anybody. Where's Don't Nathan or... The girl with the, the blue hair. Right, where should we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? Get to the bathroom. Nice and quickly. Get that done. Enter. Ugh. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. So I, I, I just hid behind that I wall, didn't I? Face. Yep. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. Oh, the and butterfly. I took the photo. You did. And then. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk. Yeah, we gotta stop this. Like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? Right. What are you doing? What do you do? Can you Come move? on, put that thing down! Oh, fire alarm, perfect. Wow, sir, it's happening again. Do it. I need a hammer to break it open. Smash it. Oh, shit. Hella more um, trouble for this than drugs. Move. Nobody would ever even miss your Aha, uh -huh. hammer, hammer, hammer. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Get away from me, psycho! Oh, Holy shit. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. Um, if I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay, right, so we rewind time again. Do I have to try this again? Is that what... Don't. Right, let's move this car. Tell me what to do. Move. I'm so sick. Just a bit People quicker. To control me. You um, to get in where's the hammer? Trouble for this than do I have the hammer? Nobody would hammer, do ever it. Even missed your punk ass with yes, me. done. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Oh. 
Woo, we done it. We saved him. Oh, saved her, sorry. Another shitty day. Put your gun away then. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Right. Anyway, there's a fire alarm. Let's go. Shot out and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? I have no idea. Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had Sorry. to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Punch me in the balls. Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Right. Should we leave the exit? I'm going. Hello, teacher. I was a principal. You look a little stressed out. I am. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or well, have I can you read done time. something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk oh, to God. me. Uh. Um. Hide the truth. I don't. Oh man, what do I do? Uh, 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 I don't know what to do. Oh man, these decisions already. Um, hide the truth. Yeah, hide the truth. Oh, I don't just know got second though. class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. Please. No, well, he you're just a dick. Not that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Oh, yes, shit. I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Um, I thought like, I thought like Nathan was like just not there, and I'm just debating whether we should, whether we could help him. I don't know. Like, can I go outside? Or can I just continue? Like, I'm, like, I'm doing, I'm carrying on. Right, I'm done. I'm off. I'm going. I've, I've made my decision. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. I enjoyed that a lot. It was so much fun. Life is Strange is awesome. I want to play more. Um, the decisions and stuff are like, oh my, what what do I do next? I, how do I fix this? It's it's one of, those sort of, one of those sort of games and it works really well and it looks pretty as well, which is always a big plus. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.